Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Paradox Girl from Hannah Comics, issue number one. Now, this is an independent book, um, and actually we were lucky enough to have a text conversation with the creator, so right now I'm going to give you a little bit of a breakdown of the actual book, why you should pick it up, and I'll also give you some of the interactions that we had with the creators of the book. So, first you're looking at it and you're thinking, what's Paradox Girl? Like... Kind of, kind of sounds intriguing. There's a whole bunch of the same girl on it. Essentially what it is, from what I can understand, is it's a girl who is continuously going back and forth through time. Therefore creating a paradox. But don't take my word for it. Let's see what writer Katie Ellie Borquin says about creating Paradox Girl. It was a real work of love for everyone who worked on it. Though my only method of communication is text, I'm not a very good traditional narrative writer. I work very visually and action-oriented. And I don't really take time to set the stage or do descriptions in more than a perfunctory manner. I love video games, but the narratives there frequently take a backseat to gameplay and take tons of time to make. So that's how I end up creating a comic book. The first story I wrote like, oh, ten years ago, and I think I sent it off to Dark Horse, but I never heard back from them. Paradox Girl herself, in this specific issue, came to me a few year, years ago in the middle of the night. I was trying to sleep, and some of the jokes and interactions with herself kept popping into my head. I kept laughing so hard I couldn't sleep, so I just, I don't know, I got up and wrote the thing. So, Paradox Girl. Uh, essentially, the first issue, how do you describe it? Um, pretty much awesome. It's a little bit all over the place, but it's a little bit all over the place in the best kind of way. And essentially, it's that way because she sees herself, as we said. So you see a bunch of her. And essentially, that's because, like we said, she's jumping. She's, she's paradoxes. She's jumping in and out of reality. And essentially, it all kind of boils down to the fact that she wants to eat some waffles. She takes a shower. And then, oh, yeah, she fights a giant. Giant. Is it Godzilla? For copyright reasons, I highly doubt it. But she fights a huge, huge lizard in the city. Needless to say, it's absolutely awesome. So we asked Katie, how do you come up with a story like that? So I just finished writing the second issue of Paradox Girl, and that's fresh in mind. This, I structure the story first by thinking about the pacing to fit the story into 20 odd pages and create an outline about what happens per page. From there, I flesh it out to create the right pacing and joke slash daw density while thinking about the reader's reaction. One of the things with the first issue that I really focused on was the surprise turning of a page. How events that happen on an odd number page can be turned around or twisted when you turn the page and see something other than what you would expect. So there was a lot of thought into that, and obviously the cross, the middle jumping that happened with the first issue. Laughter going from the right-hand page to the left-hand page, Paradox Girl jumping backwards in time onto earlier panels, panels, etc. So it's obviously Paradox Girl is different than anything the big two are pumping out right now, and different than anything I've ever seen, really, in comics. So we asked Katie... If you could team this girl up with any character, who would it be? If Paradox Girl got to team up with anyone else, like from any other comic universe, I would have to say Harley Quinn, because I love me some Harley. But that's my own bias. Then if you asked Paradox Girl herself who she'd like to team up with, she'd probably say something like, Let's go with Thor. He's hunky. Okay, Thor. A girl now? I can work with that. And then, hey... We jumped right on that question train again, and we said, Hey, Katie, if you had these awesome powers like Paradox Girl, what would you do with them? To your question is, if I had Paradox Girl's powers, the lighthearted answer is that I'd go back and be more prepared to answer that question. <laughs> I think ultimately who we are right now in this moment is a direct product of the choices we've made, for better or worse. I wouldn't use Paradox Girl's powers, or I'd like to believe that I wouldn't use them. I can't trade who I am for the possibility of something better or something else. So we've learned a little bit about this character. We found out what she does, who she is, but can we really expect an origin comic about Paradox Girl? 
Not really. And Katie actually had a really interesting response as to why. Paradox Girl's past is important to be unwritten, just as her name is. Obviously, at some point, she was someone, and something happened, and she got powers. The ability to change time has, I think, crazy consequences, and how can you ever be satisfied once you start changing things? So, with that, we ask Katie one last question. What do you want the reader to get out of Paradox Girl? Uh, What do I want the reader to get out of Paradox Girl? I think I want people to read it to be filled with delight and wonder. I want them to imagine how they can tell a story and play with the medium, and I want them to not take their day for granted. So, Paradox Girl. Definitely one of the coolest books I've ever read. Uh, Everybody at C3 has read it. We all think it's pretty awesome. It's definitely one of those books that even I would suggest you read twice. Maybe even three times. It's like the, I would say, either Fight Club or even Arrested Development, if you like that show, where there's keys to things that have happened beforehand. You'll get more out of it the second time you read it. You'll start connecting things. Oh, that's why that's there. You'll get what jokes are, where different things are in panels. It's a really great read. So we suggest that if you're in Bismarck, you hop on down to Juke Joint Comics and you pick up your very own copy. Their website, www.paradoxgirl.com. You can get a fresh printed copy, or you can go online and you can actually get a digital copy of the comic as well. So check her out on Twitter, at Hannah Comics. And her Twitter's hilarious, she's funny, trust me, it's worth following. Check them out at Facebook, too, at facebook.com slash paradoxgirl.